you know what was interesting? We um, went to my grandparents' grave site, which I hadn't been in a while. And you were really close with your grandmother. Very close. But um, my mother did something that I was not expecting. She apologized for being hard on me growing up. Was she? Yes, yeah, she was. You know, it was like very affectionate and then very hard on you. So you never, like she was when you do that, you very she... critical and very much a disciplinarian. It was really overwhelming to hear that I wasn't crazy. She said to me, you know, you're a good wife and you're a good mom. And then she paused, wait, and I go, and a good daughter? She you knows. I know you make me cry. No, no, I don't mean to. No, I don't want to cry either. I hate it. But um, like I said, unexpected yet really appreciated. And that's really, and you know what, I look at her and my heart kind of breaks for her, you know, because I know that, I know that she lives a life unrealized. You know, a lot of her dreams are unrealized. She's taken that and placed that upon me. And that's a heavy burden. And I think that's a lot of times why she was so hard on me. It's hard for that's a kid to handle. Yeah. It's funny and that's, you say it. that's, you know, and that's hard for a kid to handle, you know. I didn't get to do this, so but you can. Yeah. I didn't get to do this, but you're going to. I went to that psychic I told you about. Yes. So he started talking to me about, um, he, he said, you know, your mom is here. And he said some things that were just really interesting. He said, I, she wants you to know that you're not responsible for your sister, Kim. That's and, a big... and I was like, yeah. No, I don't want to cry. And then, um, anyway. So then, it was so weird. He goes, your mom said that, thank you for being a better mom than she was. No way. That was so weird. No way. So anyway, and then I burst into tears in front of him. I was like, oh my God, it's so embarrassing.